Psalm 119, verse 34. Havinei ve'etzera toratecha ve'eshmerena bechol lev. We begin here today again with the hifil, uh, since we're in the hay portion of Psalm 119. Uh, this might be a common uh, beginning point. The root we have here is the root bean to understand, and we have the 1cs suffix on it here. This is a hifil imperative with the 1cs, and so you have something like cause me to understand or make me understand. Notice we still have all three of the root letters here, so that's easy to recognize. Uh, the ni suffix is pretty normal, and then the only thing that might be a little bizarre is this schwa right here. The reason for the schwa is because the accent shifts in the hifil when we add a suffix, and it brings this into an originally open propritonic syllable that is normal to reduce the schwa. It's a composite schwa because of the guttural, and what may be throwing us off a little bit here is the accent here. Now this is a dehi, which is a little bit different in uh, poetry. It is a pre-positive, uh, which means it occurs in front of the accent. So that's not the accented syllable. The accented syllable is here, which makes this reduce. That's some complicated morphology. Sorry about that. Next, we get the cohortative. Here's a call cohortative of the root natsar to keep. Notice we have the aleph 1cs uh, performative and then the hey at the end for the cohortative. Notice next we have your law, Torah. So this is part of the reason why in the previous verse I uh, understood the 3FS suffix to be referring to law because we see it here with the same verb. So give me understanding that I may keep your Torah. Next we get the Vav on the uh, call imperfect of shamar. Call imperfect 1cs, again, plus a 3fs suffix, and I will keep it, and I will keep it with all heart, or with all my heart. We don't have the suffix here, uh, technically, of the 1cs uh, that is missing, but I think it's implied, and I will keep it with all my heart.